بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيبي إله العالمين أب القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين In today's episode we're going to be talking about a young warrior that fought in the battle of Karbala and that young warrior is Al Qasim ibn Al Imam Al Hassan Al Mushtaba alayhim as salam So in today's episode, I'm going to be telling you a story about him fighting in the Battle of Karbala at a very young age. It all started in the night before Ashura, when Imam al Hussein salam called all his companions to gather at his camp. That he was giving them permission to leave and go home and not get martyred. And he won't hold it against them. So they all started crying and they said, Oh Imam, we're not going to leave you, we're going to stay with you. So Imam Hussein السلام, was happy to hear that. Then Al Imam Al Hussein السلام, told his companions that they will all die tomorrow and be shahada, and what their ranks will be with Allah. Except for one person. I'll give you three seconds to guess who that person is. You're right, it was the Qasim. He's the only one that Imam Al Hussein السلام, didn't tell him what his rank will be with Allah and that he will die tomorrow. On the day of Ashura, when the companions were martyred and only the Ahl al Bayt that came with Al Imam Hussein السلام, were alive, like Ali al Akbar, Al Qasim, Imam Hussein, and Abu al Fadl al Abbas. السلام, Ali al Akbar got permission from his father to go fight and was the first to be martyred from the Ahl al Bayt. Then Al Qasim approached his uncle and asked if he can go fight in the battle of Karbala. But Imam Hussein السلام, refused and told him to go back to his mother in the camp because he was still young. Al Qasim was sad and then remembered on his father's deathbed, he was given a letter by him and in the letter it was said, when you reach the land of Karbala and you feel sad and you see your uncle Hussein lonely in the battle, don't sit in the tent and watch him, instead go and help him. Al Qasim السلام, felt excited, he felt happy because he's able to go and fight. He went and showed the letter to his uncle. He said, Oh uncle, look. He showed it to him and Imam Hussein السلام, read it and started crying. He looked at his nephew and said, Oh Qasim, how do you see death? He replied a very mature answer. He says, Death? I see death sweeter than honey. Imam Hussein السلام, looked at his young nephew. He hugged him and started crying. He says, now I give you permission to go fight in the battle. Al Imam Al Hussein السلام, helped the Qasim wear his father's armor. And Al Qasim السلام, went to the battle introducing himself. He said, In Tunkiruni Fa'ana Najl al Hassan. Sifun Nabi al Mustafa wal Mu'tamal. Hada Husseinun. هذا حسين كالأسير المرتهن بين أناس لا سقوا صوب المزهن. He fought bravely until the strap of his shoe was cut off. He paused to fix it, considering that his shoe is worthy of attention more than the enemies, large enemies holding swords. Until one of the enemies of Allah came behind of Al Qasim and struck him on his head. Al Qasim fell on the ground, yelling. Assalamu alaikum, O uncle. Imam Hussein السلام, came and looked at his martyred nephew on the ground. He picked him up and put him beside Ali al Akbar in the camp. He sat in between them and started crying over them. So that's the end of the episode. We ask Allah to give us tawfiq to be like the Qasim, not care about the dunya but care about the akhira, and serve our Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi. Allah Ta'ala Zahuri, just like how he served his uncle Hussein in the battle of Karbala. I hope you guys liked this episode. See you guys in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.